Hey guys, what's up? Then here with a new video. Welcome to Casual Guides. In today's episode, we're gonna take a look at the selling, guys. We're gonna sell everything that we have in all of these stash tabs right here. And probably by the end of this video, we're gonna have our fourth apothecary. This is my current progress, 3 out of 5. If I sell everything, probably the fourth is gonna be done, but we'll have to see. Now, uh, most of you guys, when you're looking at your stash tab, you're probably seeing some gears and some divines. But I see a lot of other currencies in here that are uh, worth a lot more and we probably have, you know, I'm guessing, 15 to 20 divines uh, in these uh, two tabs right here. We're not gonna start off with these uh, currencies. First, we're gonna take a look at what can be sold in bulk. So, let's go to the invitation tab right here and we have our incandescent invitations, guys. Okay, so let's try to sort them nicely so that we know how many we have and then we're gonna bulk sell them on TFT. So we seem to have around 12 invitations here and we also have some Polarix. In total we have 13. So let's see if we have more incandescent invitations here. Okay, this uh, should be it. So what we're gonna do is Windows Shift S and you're gonna take a screenshot of these right here and then you're gonna go on the a TFT Discord. Once we're inside the TFT Discord, we're gonna come to bulk invitations and let's see what prices we have here. Okay, so they seem to be 1.25, 1.3 divine symbol. Let's try to sell them for 1.3. So we're gonna write this right here. Want to sell or willing to sell softcore. 12 incandescent invitations, 1.3 divine siege. Uh, IGN in-game name, casual than ancestors and you're gonna paste the picture right here. And then you're gonna hit enter, paste the image again, copy the text and paste it right here. You have a, a 10 minutes cooldown time. Now that we're done with the invitations, let's try to liquidate the scarabs. We don't really have that many, not sure if I'm gonna be able to sell them, but let me show you how it's done. So you're gonna come on the bulk TFT selling tool and uh, you're gonna uh, click on scarabs. We should probably change the instance because I've uh, just uh, unloaded these right here. So you need to change instances so that your stash tabs are gonna refresh on the bulk TFT tool. So, okay, so let's go back to our hideout. And then we're gonna come here, we're gonna click on Scarab, and uh, they are in this uh, tab right here, which is Fragments. 100%, let's try to go with 110. Uh, for the Scarabs, we're gonna click on Select tab, and this is what we have here. We're gonna write our name, Casual Dan Ancestors in my case, and we're gonna click on Generate Image. Waiting a little bit, Image generated successfully. Uh, come here, go to uh, bulk scarabs, want to sell, willing to sell, and you're gonna paste this right here. Go back here, click on generate text, and paste this. And we're pretty much done. We have tried to sell them for 110%. If we can't sell them for 110, we're gonna go down to 100. If not, we're gonna go down to 90%. Let's take a look and see what else we can sell in bulk. We also have some uh, fossils here, we don't really have that many fossils, but this is pretty much uh, what you would do with the fossils, so let's uh, uh, come here, click on this, so that it disappears, click on fossils, and in my case I have them in the fossil tab, 100%, uh, select tab, and your fossils are gonna appear here, write down your name, generate image, generate text, and uh, paste them in the uh, bulk fossils, let's see uh, where exactly is uh, that, so it should be around here bulk delve guys okay so bulk delve you're gonna come here paste the image paste the, the text and somebody's gonna message you in game and they're gonna buy your fossils let's take a quick look here and see what else we can sell in bulk in general don't really have that many things we're not gonna sell the bridge invitations in bulk for these you're gonna sell them in game okay we have already posted our eldritch invitations we also have some essences guys. okay so for the essences you're gonna do pretty much the same. I don't really have that many. I haven't been farming essences uh, in the uh, past farming projects, but you know, the same. Come back to the TFT bulk selling tool. Uh, click on essence and uh, you're gonna click here. Select tab. You're gonna get your essences here. Put your name in here. Generate text, generate image. Come in here and you're gonna go to the bulk essence, which should be, let's see, around here. Paste the text, paste the image, press enter. 10 minutes cooldown and that's pretty much how you sell your essence okay boys let's see what else do we have here so we have some maps we have a lot of sets and for the cheaper sets you can horizon them it would be a good idea to prep them 
uh, before we're posting them and you also have some maps here for the cortexes you can sell them alter the distant memory you know it's not that complicated guys poe awaken trade is your friend Control alt d and you get these prices right here when uh, you can uh, sell these maps as you can see each item individually priced exact price on all items 25 chaos and we're gonna do the same uh, for this map right here and the cortex is probably 1.3 divines right yeah 1.3 divines uh, right now so this is how we sell the uh, distant memory maps these maps right here you can sell them in sets but first let's try to prep the sets and see just you know how many uh, we can get we're gonna use a few of these maps right here and we're gonna uh, get some horizons okay you want to sell them in sets because you're gonna make more currency if you sell them like this so let's try to horizon them and we have some minotaur minotaur okay so let's try to get an even set here we have 16 16 okay so let's remove these two maps right here so as you can see we have a 16 sets boys let's put these two maps in this tab right here these are the deception contracts we're gonna get to them in a moment so we're gonna go back to the map tab again like before windows shift s and you're gonna take a screenshot right here i'll tap to the tft discord and we're gonna go to bulk maps boys okay so bulk maps right here and you're gonna paste this image and let's see what the current prices are so we have a shaper set we have elder sets let's see uh, elder guardian map sets a uh, three divines for 10 sets boys okay so 10 sets let's run the numbers a bit would be um, 40 maps right so we have 230 uh, for a divine and we have three divines here uh, 690 kios divided by um, 40 we have around 17.25 kios per map this is how much we're gonna be able to uh, get out of our maps so we're gonna write like this want to sell softcore and we have uh, let's see how many do we have here going back to the game 16 shaper sets 16x shaper sets and we have three divines uh 10 sets or we can uh, try to sell them okay so three divines for 10 sets or uh, let's see 7.25 times four maps we have 69 chaos or 70 chaos for um four maps one set okay boys ign casual then ancestors we have uh, 70 chaos for uh, four maps or one set okay and this is what we're gonna do and for the conqueror sets i'm not sure if we're gonna be able to sell them for 0 0.8 divine for one set but you know uh, let's give it a shot usually i sell the uh, conqueror maps for 35 40 chaos not a lot of people are gonna buy your uh, cyrus sets so you're gonna come here and you're gonna write 9x Cyrus sets and we have 0 0.8 div per set or let's see 0 0.8 times 230 we have 185 kills so this is pretty much how you sell your map symbol it's gonna take a little bit of time you're gonna have to pause this um, a few more times here maybe you need to lower the sets to 60 kills 65 kills let's go back into the game and let's see what else we can sell boys so we have uh, fossils have essences i've shown you how to sell the essences the card tab don't try to sell it in bulk it's not gonna be um doable you're not gonna be able to liquidate it for the forbidden tomes as you can see they are in a 20 kios tab let's see what the price is right now so come here click on online click on kios orb and they seem to be at around 10 to 15 kios so maybe we're gonna lower them to 15 kios if we wanna sell them now let's see how we can sell our deception contract so deception okay so we have a lot of deception contracts guys. so let's see how many do we have here so there's 12 in a row we have uh, 48 here i think it would be better to uh, just do this and uh, take them out of this tab right here it's been piling up with so many deception contracts so we're gonna be able to get quite a lot of currency out of them so so far we have let's see boys deception 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 so we have 55 deception contracts here let me find an empty tab let's use this tab right here 
Ok, boys, and click on bulk heist. Let's see what the current prices are for deception contracts and blueprints. We're gonna take a look here. So let's see. We have unusual gems known. Ok, so fully revealed, no. Deception contracts, 11 kios. Ok, so we're gonna write the, this right here. Want to sell softcore? Ok, shift enter if you don't. Ok, so shift enter to enter another row. And enter to write the full message and um, send it to the Discord. So shift enter, we're gonna add another row. A 60x deception contracts. Um, I level 83. 11 kios each now this guy wants to buy our forbidden tomb let's see and uh, that's gonna be it boys for the forbidden tombs probably sold them a little bit below market value because you can sell them um, for higher profit on the uh, tft uh, bulk section but since i don't really have bulk um, tomes i decided to just sell them in game for around the 15 kios and uh, besides that, we also have a memory of the sacred growth. Click on online, click on Kios Orb, and no, let's go on divine orb. Okay, so 1.5, 1.6, 1.7. So let's try to go with, I guess, 1.7 divine orbs. Let's see if we can sell it. If not, we're gonna lower it to 1.6, then to 1.7. Okay, so 1.7 divine orbs, and this is pretty much done here. And uh, besides that, this is probably where most of you guys are struggling. And I don't really understand why, because there's so much currency in here, guys. Okay, so let's start off with the alteration. Uh, one for 2,000, it's gonna be easier to sell them uh, for 2,100, guys. Okay, so let's go like this. As you can see, one divine for 2,100. It's a little bit reversed in POE. So, exact price, one slash 2,000. Let's go with 2,150, okay? okay? So we're gonna click on Divine Orb, and as you can see, one Divine for 2,050 alterations. The quite confusing <laughs> how to uh, list them, but this is pretty much what you need to do, and now you're gonna be able to sell your alterations. Let's see, what else do we have here? We have Anuls, which are how much? They are 6 kills. okay? So we're gonna go with 6 kills. What else do we have here? Uh, regals, boys. Okay, so Regals, 1 KO, 0.9. Let's go with 10. Okay, so we have 10 chaos for 12 Regal Orbs. This is what I'm gonna do. Let's see, 110 Val. Okay, so they are 1.3. This is what I'm gonna do. 140 for 110. Okay, so 140 chaos for 110 of these Val Orbs right here. Have a sacred orb, quite rare. Silver coins, let's see what. 1, 2, 3, 15, right? Okay, so let's go with 1, 3, 15, divine orb. Really nice, we're pretty much done. Uh, what else do we have here? Oh, we have delirium orbs, guys, because I have been farming delirium orbs. So let's find the. Oh, and we also have this, which I should probably sell. So let's see, where are the delirium orbs, boys? Okay, so in this tablet. Okay, so in 15, boys. You're gonna click on Delirium Orb, it's in the 15 tab, go with 110, Delirium Orbs, you're gonna be able to sell them for 110, click Select tab, Generate Image, okay, so <laughs> the sextants are underpriced, that's why I'm getting so many messages, so um, let's see, what else, we're gonna go to... Uh, Delirium orbs, bulk delirium orbs, come here, paste, go back, generate text, text is done, paste, done. Now let's see what's the current prices of sextants, we're getting spam guys. My uh, tab was not set on public and it used to be 1 to 55 divine orbs and now it's 1 to 45. Click on stock 200, let's see, 1 to 45, let's go with 1 to 43, 1 to 43 divine orbs, so we need... 315 of these okay so this is yes this is 300 and this is another 15 and we're also gonna sell off the all of the val orbs so he wanted 315 silver coins okay so we made another divine Uh, thank you. This guy wants to buy the boots for one and a half divines. Let's just liquidate it. 
we probably have enough currency here okay so thank you and we're done okay and now we should give the alterations to endless summers so 11 and okay we have here i think one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one thousand forty sixty and we're done and this is pretty much how we liquidated our alterations guys and we got a divine and we're done with the alterations now somebody wants to buy our awakened sextants 172 for four divines so let's see if he joins okay so 172 this is 150 60 70 two balls okay so another four divines okay so you don't really need the poe trace companion um, when you're doing trades in bulk or you can use it and it's really nice but yeah, as you can see if you're gonna list your items in bulk you're gonna do just a few trades and you're gonna be able to liquidate really fast balls okay so we have another four divines here we started at around i don't know four divines we're at around 15 what else can we sell here we have a gem cutter prisms which are in bulk let's see boys mm. how much are they in bulk 1.5 right okay so we're gonna go with 15 slash 10 okay and this should pretty much be it let's sell the two alterations in a single trade And for the chance orbs, I usually don't sell them, I just convert them to scours, so that I don't have to buy scours, and I'm gonna show you how we can do that in a moment. But you can sell them um, if you want to. Do we have enough for the divine? I don't think, yeah, we don't. So, let's see, he wants the two annuls, we're gonna trade him, and we're done with this. Okay, so um, before we start selling a few more items, let's go and see how we can convert our scours epilogue. Click here, Caro you know, This is the loading screen, boys. The, the loading screen. So, what you can do, come here, Control, Shift, and click and convert your chance orbs like this into scours, boys. Okay, so this is what I do with my chance orbs. I don't sell them. You no, know, it's a lot easier to not have to buy scours. If I can do something to eliminate a trade, I'm gonna do it. Even if I lose a little bit of currency by converting my chance orbs, I am I'm gonna do this because I wanna have scours as you can see, have big stacks of alchemies, scours and cartographers chisels. What else can we sell here? We can also sell the blessed orbs because I'm not gonna use them, so let's see how much. 39 for 100, 24, uh, 28 I guess for 84, liquidate them as well. Uh, not selling so let's go with 135 for 110 um, I also have another simulacrum here I guess so okay so I seem to how much is the simulacrum let's see it's around 65k 65k okay so he wants to buy our valor and he has also joined the party hopefully he doesn't leave like the previous guy this is pretty much what you need to do guys to liquidate your currencies. You need POE awakened trade and you need to understand stacks. So I'm not corrupting my maps. I don't need Val Orbs. Thank you. I need KSS and Divines to buy Headhunters and Mage Bloods. What else can I sell here? Let's see. Do I need 200 unmakings? I can probably do with 100. So let's see. 1.7. We're gonna go with 170 or how much is it for a divine? Let's see. 180. 60. Yeah, I kinda need around 60 for the next project. Okay, so let's also try to sell and makings for a divine. Uh, 180. 180 here, right? So one for 180, I guess. Maybe. If they sell, if not. One for 180. Okay, so one divine for 180 of these right here so we're also done with these instilling orbs i don't need 139 okay so let's see 34 100 which means 3 for 10 right so 3 for 10 i guess let's just go with 30 for 100 and uh, we can also have a few for ourselves 
Kir. I think these are around one Kirs in bulk, right? Yes, one Kirs. So I can probably part with 40 of them. So I'm gonna go with 20 for 20. Also gonna sell the Blessed Orbs. So 20 for 20, guys, okay? So I'm gonna sell two stacks and I'm gonna keep 25 for myself in case I need them. Probably won't until I have the mage left. So Blessed Orbs done, liquidate. And as you can see guys, you know, this is pretty much what you need to do to liquidate everything. This is gonna be a pretty long video, but uh, this is how you can uh, sell everything. A lot of currency here, 1 for 20, we have another 4 device boys, ooh, looking nice, okay, so, let's see, 1 for 20, 1 slash 20, divine orbs, okay, greater 1 for 80, let's try to go with 86, so, 1 for 86, okay, so divine orb, 1 divine orb for 86 of these boys, okay, tell the regals, what else do we have here? Tainted currencies. Am I gonna use these? But they are 1 to 6. I'm not gonna take the time to sell this. What does he want? He wants the regals. I'm not using them. I'm selling them, boys, okay? Don't need stacks of 200 regals at the end of the league. Whatever you're not using, sell. No. No. And we sold our regals, boys, okay? Now, let's see, what else can we sell here? So, we price these at 15 for 10, they're not selling. Let's go down to 14. Um, gem cutter prisms for 10, so that we're able to liquidate them. Don't really have a lot of fusings, jewelers. I do need a few of these, so I'm not gonna sell them. I'm not gonna gamble with the ancient orbs, so I'm just gonna liquidate them. How much? 11 kills. I have 4, mm, probably not considered bulk, so 12, 14. I guess let's try to go with 14 kills and we're gonna lower them down to 11 if they're not selling okay so let's see currency oh we also have a veil kios i'm not using it i'm gonna sell it 13 kios okay 13 kios he wants 10 prisms okay boys and you know this is pretty much what you need to do a selling session of one to two hours at the end of each week or every two weeks depending on how much time you're playing if you're playing one hour per day you're gonna do this every two weeks if you're playing uh, two hours three hours per day maybe do it uh, every week and this is how you liquidate everything most time spent liquidating is gonna be on these right here these are the hardest things uh, to sell out of your stash tabs the rest you can uh, sell um, in bulk on tft 86 okay we're selling the greater embers okay and we have another divine here thank you done okay so let's see what else boys so uh, oh done makings i wanted to sell the highest contracts but it's okay we're making divines so 160 right plus 20 this should be 180 right yes 180 here Okay, so you know, basic math guys it's uh, it's really strong <laughs> if you're trying to liquidate uh, yes, yes. so if you have, if you have basic math skills you're gonna be able to liquidate pretty much everything boys okay so 40 one two three four five okay, I'm gonna unlist these because I also need a few for myself we have a 25 more than enough and now we're just gonna sell the rest boys okay Okay, boys, so let's see, 40, uh, 40, 40, 40. Now, sometimes they're going to make some mistakes. Sometimes they want to scam you. Uh, he probably made a mistake here. So let's see, he's going to get um, 40 kills, you know, should pay a little bit of uh, attention when you're uh, selling things. My game is freezing, probably because of his uh, MTX. And we're done. Thank you. Have 30 prisms. Let's sell them 20 and another 10 here. And uh, I guess we're pretty much done here with the prisms as well. Okay. 
So then we're gonna try to sell the deception contracts. You know, maybe we're gonna be interrupted again. <laughs> maybe not. We're gonna have to see. But we have sold quite a lot of things uh, so far, I'd say. Oh, okay. And we sold our prisms. Now somebody wants to buy our instilling orbs. Let's see uh, if he joins. Oh, also the uh, memory of uh, harvest beasts. So let's take a hundred of these. And we also have our memory here. Should be here, I think. Or where is the memory of harvest beasts? Memory. Oh, it's here. Oh, okay. So let's see. Who wanted the memory? No, he wanted the. Instilling orbs, the memory guy cancelled the trade, we're gonna have to relist it. So, thank you. Selling the Veil Chaos Orb. Okay, so let's go with 1.6 divines. I guess to liquidate it a little bit faster. Okay, so let's see. Elder Gordo, he wants the Chaos Orb. And we're done with the chaos orb as well so uh now what let's try to sell our invitations guys now since we didn't manage to sell them uh by, by placing them in a one sell tab maybe we can go to somebody that's buying invitations so let's see do we have 12 back on the toft discord go to the top bulk invitations want to buy so these guys want to buy invitations 1.1 incandescent let's see can we find a good price here somebody that wants incandescent invitations for a good price 1.1 1.1 guys okay it's not looking that great one i would be willing to go down to 1.2 but 1.1 mm, it's not uh, what i want to sell them for so incandescent maybe one threats 1.2 okay so let's see 1.2 he wants to buy the invitations and also incandescent mm, i think this guy is a bulk buyer and we're done with our incandescent invitations 14 and a half divines boys easily just like that okay sell everything that you can sell in bulk okay so everything that can be sold in bulk should be sold in bulk don't waste your time and we're getting really close uh, to the apothecary but we have a lot of uh, things left here too uh, sell we can sell the deceptions we can sell the gems okay so deception let's go and replicas okay okay so as you can see boys you know, a little bit of cutting down on the prices don't get too greedy okay, we're gonna be able to uh, sell everything boys and let's give him the final contract deception okay and the final deception contract and that's pretty much it we have liquidated the deception contracts now let's try to see what else we can sell okay probably not gonna be able to sell the grand embers anymore because uh, same time has passed but you know let's invite this guy and see um oh okay so it seems that we're gonna be able to 40 embers for two divines okay boys so really nice to sell things in bulk you're gonna get a lot more um out of your currencies items and uh, so on 100 200 300 and yes it's okay boys Okay, so thank you. Okay. As you can see, our stack of currencies are growing really nice, boys. Uh, 3 out of 3. 4 out of 4. Oh, we actually dropped this one during the mapping showcase. <laughs> nice. Another one. So 4 out of 4. These are 3 out of 3. 3 out of 3 let's see okay we have two more here boys so we're gonna need an empty tab let's go with this one and for these you're gonna have to uh, price them manually okay so let's see 60 kills for this one right here okay 
not sure if these are exact prices, but still, we're gonna be able to get quite a lot of currency out of them. Uh, 1.2 divines, okay, so 1.2 divs for uh, this right here. What else do we have here? 100 kills, let's go with 90, I guess, so that we can liquidate a little bit faster. 60 kills here, boys, okay, so 60 kills. These are probably gonna take a little bit of time to sell 140. 50 let's go with 150 and see if we get spammed and uh, if we do we're gonna up the prices a little bit uh, 60 kills okay so 60 what else 50 here okay 100 okay let's also sell the simulacrum um, what else do we have here? 70 kills. Let's go with 60. Just liquidate as fast as I can. Um, 45 here. And do we, we have another 60. Okay, party was disbanded. And, yeah, okay, so these are the usually the bots that are price checking, right? So um, they're asking you if you want to sell the simulacrum and if you accept, they know to keep the prices pretty much where they are we're gonna take a small break boys okay so this is what we managed to uh, get done so far we started at five divines and i think 1000 kills and we're at the 36 divines and the 3000 kills five to ten minutes break and i'm gonna be back okay boys and we've been selling for around one hour i'm guessing this is not something that we're gonna have to do each day you're gonna have to do this every week or every two weeks Let's see what do we have left here. So we have some scarabs, I guess, and we also have some invitations, right? So let's try to take our invitations from these tabs. And we have this and this. And now let's try to sell them. So let's see. We have formed one Elder Slayers. We have two of them. What else? Forgotten Fear is usually not expensive. I'm not gonna bother selling it. 15 kills, I guess it's okay to sell the Forgotten Twisted, usually expensive. Forgotten 15 kills. Okay, so 15 kills for the Forgotten Elder Slayers, 115 kills or um, 0.6. Let's try to sell them for Divines. So sometimes prices are a little bit different. Um, in divines and kills, you're gonna be able to get a bit more if you try to sell them in divines. But worst case scenario, we're just gonna sell them for a slightly less 115 kills. Pretty much the same here, 0 0.6 divines. Let's try to sell this invitation as well. 15 and the twisted is 0 0.4 divines, so 0 0.4 divine orbs. Okay, boys. And uh, I think we're pretty much done here with the invitations. Now let's take a look at the scarabs. Let's try to go with 90%, I guess, because we didn't manage to sell them earlier. So scarabs, close these right here. Scarabs, they are in the fragment tab. 90% select tab. And we have around 2.8, 2.9 divines. Bull scarabs. And we're also gonna paste the image and this is pretty much how we can liquidate our scarabs thank you let's see yes we have given him everything no scarabs left here let's try to sell a few cards as well now we can list these for five kills we should be able to sell them since we're uh, selling them in bulk hasn't sold 14 go down to uh, 13 he wants to buy home okay so 30 kills for that switch okay so he checked the scarabs he uh, found that all were there and he left our hideout okay so did we say thank you yes we did leave current party okay so we're done with the sextants Let's also sell the simulacrum. Okay, so it's quite simple to sell everything, guys. It's gonna take a little bit of time, but if you're using POE Awaken Trade, you don't even need 
other things to liquidate everything. But it's nice to use uh, POE Trace Companion and uh, POE Overlay. Okay, so let's see. We have one for 20. We could also sell these, I guess, but let's sell the Simulacrum first. And we should probably try to sell the maps, right? Okay, so 65. Almost a scam myself a little bit there. <laughs> it doesn't matter that much. We have quite a lot of currency. Okay, so let's see. Uh, we should probably sell these. Um, how much do we sell them for? So 3 to 5. 30 for 50. Six, yeah, 30 for 50 I guess is okay. So 30 for 50. And we can also sell these. How much are they in bulk in chaos? So 2.8. 28 for 10 chaos orbs. Okay, we can sell the wealth and power. Really nice. 230. I think it's in this tab. Let's see if it joins. Yes, it's in this tab. So let's see if he joins the party. Or if it's just the price checking us. Oh, okay, so he actually wants to buy it. And now we have someone that wants to buy uh, one of our blueprints. Okay, and our first fully revealed blueprint has been sold for 50 chaos. We sold the scarabs, no problem there, uh, for 90%. We're gonna sell the delirium orbs, they were in tab 15. We're gonna go with 100%. We have another two divines here, really nice. And a bulk, let me see, bulk delirium orbs, I think, right? Yes, bulk delirium orbs. Paste, and let's also get the image or the text, the text. Generating the text. So let's sell the delirium orbs here. Made another two divines. And we're able to sell the 1.2 Divine Blueprint as well. Let's see if he joins our hideout. So, Sasha. Okay, so, Sasha for 1.2 Div. Really nice. And we're done here. Thank you. So, we're pretty much done here. Um, you're gonna sell everything in your currency tab that you're not using by using POE Awaken Trade. If you need to lower the prices a little bit, you're gonna sell your high value items, your contracts, your blueprints, everything. I need to sell some cluster jewels, I need to sell a few more things and uh, I'm gonna come back in a moment with an update. Let's see if we manage to get enough currency to buy an apothecary. See you guys in a moment. Okay, boys, and I'm back. 70 divines. 70 divines for an apothecary. And 4 out of 5 done. Another farming strategy coming up next week. I'll see how much free time I have. And uh, we're gonna have our mage blood soon, boys. Okay, so. Let's see. 11 tab and 4 out of 5. Boys. I hope this video helped you out a little bit. A bit long. But uh, this is intended for newer players that don't know how to liquidate, use bulk TFT, use the uh, Forbidden Trove um, Discord and also the bulk TFT website, use POE Awaken Trade and sell everything that you're not using. As you can see, I don't have a lot of uh, things left. The only things that I didn't manage to sell yet, and I'm gonna be able to sell them without any issues over the weekend, would be the maps, guys. Okay, so I have quite a lot more currency than um, just the 70 divines that... I paid for this fourth apothecary right here and I also have a few other things, the blueprint and I need to take a look in these tabs here and see what else I can, you know, how much more currency I can extract out of them. 
So around two hours to sort of let's say farm on a path carry if you have the currency in your stash tabs. Sell everything that you're not using. And yes guys, you have a lot more currency in your stash tabs than you think. Thank you for watching, good luck, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.